All right, you guys, welcome back. Welcome back to a very special unboxing. This is a video that I've wanted to do and wanted to release for you all for a very long time. Uh, three months to be exact. Today we are unboxing Future Motion's new product, the One Wheel Pint. <laughs> All right, so we're just gonna get into it. We're just gonna go because I wanna get some footage and then I wanna start riding. I wanna start practicing getting footage outside in the wild. I am so excited, you guys. I'm so excited. All right, so here we go. Oh my gosh. So here we are. I'm gonna move some stuff out of the way. Got my helmet ready. If you ride anything, skateboards, bikes, scooters, unicycles, come on, wear a helmet, guys. So, got this bad boy from Amazon, decked it out with my own custom stickers. Yes, we're gonna wear this for the unboxing. All right, so here we go. We're gonna unbox this bad boy that I've been waiting so long for. Got my handy dandy scissors, skizzes. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you. Pro tip from watching Jimmy Chang's one wheel videos. If you guys want to travel or even send it off to a UPS truck, the battery on board fits within the regulations of traveling with a lithium ion battery. Make sure you keep the original packaging with it. Take it out. Ugh, here we go. Come on. So, here we go. So, we have the box here. Nice little pint box. I think we have some sort of uh, documentation. Let's see. Designed and assembled in California. It includes the one wheel pint and the pint home charger. No remote required. Lean forward to go, back to slow down. It's that easy. Your hands are free. And for the important stuff, like coffee. So Californian. Oh. Hypercore brushless motor. Incredibly smooth power and torque to climb over anything. And powerful regenerative braking on the way down. 16 miles per hour top speed, NMC batteries, safe and powerful with 6 to 8 mile range per charge. We've got intelligent LED light, We've got bright LED headlights and taillights automatically reverse when you switch directions. A mag handle. The one wheel pint has a built in mag handle that magnetically snaps and flush with the wheel when not in use. The light bar. The Pint features light bar integrated into the front foot pads for sense pad indication, battery monitoring, and in-ride alerts. And I have heard that the advertised range is actually pretty accurate, so that's pretty cool. Simple stuff. The Pint's news. All right, guys, so we're going to go ahead and freaking open this thing. I am so excited. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Uh-oh. Life is about to get more awesome. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. So this box can go in that box. Man, I just threw away all my boxes when I cleaned this room. Link in the description below if you wanted to see that video. <laughs> here it is! All right, so what we got here? So they're gonna teach us how to ride this thing. So here's the famous mag handle. This can be cool. This is a little bit lighter and smaller. Briefcase style, I guess you would say. Meet your front foot pad. Uh, sorry. <laughs> Lean on a friend to get started. What if you don't have any friends? So there's an app where you can monitor the miles that you clock on this thing. The battery life, your digital shaping. I ordered the only one that was available in May. This is the sand colored one wheel. I definitely need to get a accessory called the fender. So it'll cover the top right here. And so when you're riding through dirt, maybe water, you know, usually those things kick up. So there's a little gap in between. So as you're riding, things will start to kick up and, um, you know, hit your shins, you know, get your pants dirty or whatever. So, oh, remove before riding. Yeah, it's like we want the directions at all times. Oh yeah. All right, ooh, and it's got a nice grip. One wheel logo over there, their headquarters underneath Santa Cruz so the first thing that I'm going to do find the serial number any reason I you know have to dispute a stolen or lost one wheel take a picture and save it 
hard drive somewhere safe, you know? So it's gonna say SN. The other and only thing that comes in the back of the box is the charger. Ooh, I was wrong. I got stickers. The charger, they just gave me a bunch of business cards. <laughs> They're like, hey, spread the word, man. Let's see if it has some juice. Oh, it's got juice. That is the unboxing. We're gonna ride in a little bit, give you my first impressions. Again, I have never ridden one of these things before. I'm gonna be wearing my trusty helmet and we're just gonna go for it, man. Uh, I used to skateboard back in the day and I've never snowboarded. So I hear it's a mixture of snowboarding and skateboarding. So, you know, I can't wait to get used to how the board rides, how fast it goes. Yeah, we're gonna go on this journey together because I am stoked. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the unboxing of the pint. Thank you for being a part of this with me. I hope you guys enjoy the video. All right, woo! Gotta be super careful because I've got, I've decided to bring my uh, Canon ADD. So I gotta make sure I'm being safe. Oh, shoot. <sighs> and we're just uh, carving and being a part of this one wheel action, man. I love it. All right, back to it. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are testing out some different digital shaping options for you. Right now, I am riding on the Pacific Digital Shaping Mode, which is the uh, most fluid, ride around smooth and kind of just like wiggle around. But I'm gonna show you guys a couple of cool features. I'm gonna explain Simple Stop real quick, so give me a second. So we're gonna get on. And so, you slow down to a stop. As you saw there, the light turned magenta. So you slow down to less than one miles per hour, rock back, it'll turn purple. 
All right, you guys, so we are going to practice some carving today. I'm gonna to take you around this trail. It's a beautiful park. So right now we're just cruising along, carving. Oh, I just hit a puddle. My legs are wet. Definitely need to get that fender I was talking about. So a couple other features. Uh, I mean, it's got the 16 miles per hour um, top speed. Um, which is pretty fast. I don't even go 60 miles per hour often. Once it hits that pushback, it's really it's really startling. And um, I haven't been riding this long enough to really be pushing the limits and kind of ripping it everywhere. And again, the battery range has been pretty good. I'm about two miles away from my house. I'm at 80% battery and I have, I mean, it says I have an eight mile range. I've, this is a 2.1 mile trip so far. I should be good. Maybe if it hits 30%, that's when I'll start, you know, heading back. And we are back. Back from our first ride with the brand new one wheel pint. And what I have to say is that it's everything that you watch on YouTube videos, other people riding this thing. It's very floaty, feels great cruising. It makes you just want to stay out and stay and hit new pads and and just continue riding, continue carving, continue floating throughout the streets. Took it to a couple of different terrains. First impressions, I mean, as soon as I got on, super easy to learn. Uh, I mean, if you've got on a skateboard before, I mean, it should feel natural. Get your center of gravity to get the board to engage the balancing. That felt super quick, I picked that up right away going and stopping that that was pretty pretty solid pretty easy to pick up i mean literally anyone can pick this up for the first time and get it in like 15 20 minutes probably um to ride comfortably i've already i've already scuffed up my board a little bit yeah this simple stop stuff can get a little tricky when you're on like which reminds me, I need, to, I need to name this. I need to name this little board so I can add it to my app. And it'll forever be ingrained as my board. So there are a couple things that um, did kind of make me nervous while I was on the board for the first time. There is this thing called pushback, and I definitely felt it. A few times it kind of, it kind of scared me, it made me nervous while I was riding. So as you're riding, to make sure you're not going too fast, the board will physically give you a warning saying that, hey, you're going too fast, so you need to slow down. So as it goes, it'll give you that pushback and the board nose will actually lift up. Like as you're riding, you don't, you don't realize you're going a little too fast. And if you've never felt it before, you will. And it's just going to kick up like that and kind of push you back a little bit. And so your natural response do not lean into it because you will continue going fast while it's pushing back and it's not going to be fun. That really made me nervous as I was riding through the streets for the very first time. This is my very first time riding a one wheel ever. So at, at that point, as it was pushing me back and going really fast, I mean that 12 miles an hour is pretty fast. So as I was going, I was, I was kind of freaking out a little bit because I, I was going forward and I was just like, oh my goodness, why can't I stop? And so it threw my, my balance off a little bit, and so my heels and my my toes were like wobbling back and forth, which made me turn, and that's how you turn. And so I was just going all over the place, and I was just like, all right, I need, to, I need to stop. Those were the only things that concerned me while I was riding. Other than that, it was super easy to pick up. I cannot wait to take these like to different places because again, with an eight mile range, you can go, you can go a lot of places. One thing I forgot to mention, I didn't realize that my muscles that I were going to be using in my foot were going to be cramping hard. It wasn't cramping, it was just like like I could feel they were being worked out. So it's been a while since, I, since I've since i even skateboarded. So I'm sure while I continuously ride this board, it, it'll get used to it. I can definitely foresee some, some fun times with this thing. Yeah, so that was the unboxing. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned for more. You're definitely going to be seeing me riding this thing all the time. And if you guys have one and you're in the Houston area, follow me. If you're one of the homies and you want to get one, get one because they're awesome. Here, I got a business card for you. I got five business cards for you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can stay on top of when I release videos. Uh, I appreciate all the love and support, guys. 
Have a great day, night, morning. See you next time. All right. All right. I gotta do the hero pose. You're right, you're right. And action. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I'm not ready for that life yet. You see that guys? Jeremy's a wimp. <laughs> cut, cut, cut. Cut.